still some restrictions in place in South Africa. But half capacity allowed and half capacity we have in this amazing arena. And just a change in the back division for the DHL Stormers. No change in the front row or in the second or in the back row. A hundredth cap for the Stormers for Dion Ferri, Herschel Yankee, and Marnie Libok, the halfbacks. Damien Willemser last week's man of the match. And just a change in the back three. Serge Peterson onto the right wing. Siobella Sanatla moves to the left with the injury to Leolin Zas. Again, John Dobson goes for six forwards and two backline players on the bench. Gordon Masimla and Sasham Gumazulu, the two backs. Well, for the Vodacom Bulls, Jake White has stayed almost with uh, the 15 that did duty against Leinster with such success in Dublin in the semi-final. And he too has made just one change amongst the backs. Kirtley Aronsa starting at fullback with Kanan Moody moving on to the wing and David Creel moving down to the bench. It's been a long time coming and it's the biggest rivalry you'll get in South African sport. Stormers against the Bulls, only one winner. A wonderful season it's been for him in the number 10 jersey. For the Vodacom Bulls and the grand final is underway. Early touch for Damien Willemser. Open. Steven Kitzhoff had his skates on there. Looked like an ice rink. Is a bit soggy underfoot. Robillard again goes to Walt Steenkamp at the front. This time, five. better defence at first. But here comes Grobelar in the trademark red scrum cap. The offload is good. Foster! An emphatic start to this URC Grand Final. Yeah, again, the Bulls went to the mall after the first one, smelled some success. And there's a little breakaway. I think no one knew where the ball was. And Krobler's got it right at the back there. But the magic here is his ability to offload in contact up to Foster, running a hard line. Uses the strength and power to roll over. The Bulls right. open their account early though. But Johan Krobler, there it was, dominated contact. Had the right to offload and he did that well. AJ Jakobs and uh, Jakob Paper, the two assistant referees. And uh, a quick throw in. The Stormers' captain cuts off. Daimani. Tackle! Driving Release. his legs in contact and. Uh, Six moves! Six! Knock on, strip in the tackle. The ball was stripped in the tackle and Tum wears away. Tackle made by Herschel Yankees, but not held, so quick to get back to his feet. And Zach Berger again, throwing the dummy in, feet. ducking under a tackle. And they've also done well at turning defence into attack, and they've had a couple of opportunities when the ball's been lost by yeah, the Stormers. We've seen a couple of handling not errors from the home side, which the Bulls have been quick to pounce on, and that's another one. Yankees finds Gerland. Advantage for offside. Putting offside. The Vodacom Bulls dominant in almost every aspect of this grand final. But Marnie Libok has struck it beautifully and ensured that the home side go into half time. Just four points adrift. But Marnie Libok made it 7 3 at half time, and it is Libok who gets. The second half underway. 40 minutes to determine who will lift the United Rugby Championship trophy for the first time. Strong defensive work from uh, Arno Buerta and the hack through from Cornell Hendricks. Sergio Peterson had to drop back. And penalty. He liked it immediately. Well, I tell you what, the Stormers, you can see where the guys cleaning the studs, they'll, they'll, they'll try and back themselves to go for the, the pushover if they can get some grip on the ground. Boys. Otherwise, it's an even worse pickup for Willemser and Ronald quite close. Say that. Okay, that's going nowhere. Use it. Nine. Absolutely rock solid. Willemser running hard at the line. 
Just a metre and a half short. Yankees and Ruiz. Short! He's got that. Well, try awarded. They might have another look here. Seven real steps down here. He gets hit by two loose forwards. It's on the board to Massa. And there he goes. Zach Berger lost the forward. Nell. Oh. No, no. Claims of a high tackle there. I can confirm those facts, Barry. Yeah. 13 points. Good lads. So it's going to be a yellow card for Cornell Hendricks. Good. They've got a little bit more time on the ball. Yeah, they claim a high tackle might not be the end of this one. More. A little bit of a contest at the front, but claimed by Salman Murat for the Stormers. One stop. One stop made. Still moving. But still the Stormers more is moving. And Andre Hito Pinto in possession at the tail. Oh, Try scored. What a way to enter the final. Yeah, and good play from the Stormers. I thought mature play because the option was to try and manipulate that ball to try and get middle ball. And bear in mind, this was after a stop had been called. Again, it's Madosh Tamwe Play asked on. to give chase. Off back, off back, off balls. And tap back for oh. Elric Lowe. Straight off. Another pure strike from Chris Smith, his second successful penalty. First big carry for Junior Pokomela. Then it comes for Marnie Lebok, who's kept the drop goal. Bulls move! Bulls told to get away from it. Damien Willemsa kicks the ball into the stands. The DHL Stormers are the inaugural United Rugby Championship Grand Final winners. Extraordinary scenes at the DHL Stadium in Cape Town. Who was named as captain of the South African under-20 side during the course of this week, having made a URC debut in the quarterfinal against Edinburgh. A big hug from Cape Town's mayor, Jordan Hill Lewis, Michelle Van Aden there as well, Graham Abrams of Supersport, Mark Alexander, the president of Saru. And now the moment for Stephen Kitsoff. I'm told that trophy is very, very heavy. It won't matter much to the DHL Stormers captain. Stephen Kitsoff and his team are the inaugural United Rugby Championship champions. Victorious at home against the Vodacom Bulls by 18 points to 13. And the celebrations in the Mother City can well and truly start.